Hello, I am Seema and welcome to part 27 of the chapter Hydrocarbons. We were doing the properties of alkenes, the chemical properties of alkenes. Moving ahead with our discussion, in this video we are going to discuss two more properties that is the addition of sulfuric acid and the addition of water to alkenes. So let us come to the addition of sulfuric acid. You know, addition of sulfuric acid and water also take place according to the Markovnikov rule, which I have discussed in the previous videos. So I would encourage you to watch the previous videos where we have done the chemical properties of alkenes, where you know how Markovnikov addition takes place. So the addition of sulfuric acid takes place according to Markovnikov rule. And according to Markovnikov rule, the uh, it is an electrophilic addition that is taking place, and the electrophile out of the addendum, that is, the addendum or the uh, the substance that is being added, can be divided into a positively charged ion and a negatively charged ion. The positively charged ion is an electrophile. So the electrophile attacks the alkene first and then whichever carbocation is formed which is more stable the negative part goes and adds on in such a way that that product becomes the major product. Uh, I, as I explain this once more it will become clearer to you although we have done the Markovnikov addition in a previous video. If you take cold concentrated sulfuric acid Cold concentrated sulfuric acid would add to alkenes according to, in accordance with the Markovnikov rule. And what do they result in the formation of? They result in the formation of alkyl hydrogen sulfate. And this kind of an addition is an electrophilic addition. So let us see what is the product. This is ethene and this is H2SO4. If you take H2SO4 molecule, it can be broken down into H positive and HSO4 negative. The positive and the negative ion. The H positive will be the electrophile which will attack the alkene first. So the H positive will come and add to one of the carbons. Let us say it comes and adds itself to the first carbon. So this first carbon becomes CH3. In the second step the HSO4 negative will come and get attached to the other carbon and therefore the HSO4 uh, the HSO4 uh, negative or um, HSO3OH also it is called, it will come and add to the second carbon resulting in the formation of the ethyl hydrogen sulfate. Now what is, if you had an unsymmetrical alkene, in this case you do not see whether the addition is a Markovnikov addition because according to Markovnikov rule, when you have an unsymmetrical alkene, the addition of the uh, the addendum to an unsymmetrical alkene will display the Markovnikov rule. So if we take the same addition in the case of propene which is an unsymmetrical alkene. How is it an unsymmetrical alkene? Because on one side of the double bond you have only one carbon and on the other side of the double bond you have two carbons so it is not symmetrical. Here on both sides of the double bond you had one carbon each so it was a symmetrical alkene. So when the alkene is unsymmetrical and the same addition takes place. The same two steps take place. The H positive will add first and the HSO4 negative will add in the second step. But in this case, there would be a possibility of two different products. What are the two different products? In the first step, let us assume that H positive attacks or look here. In the first step, we are assuming that the H positive, I will tell the, uh, the mechanism here. The H2SO4 breaks down into H positive and HSO4 negative. The H positive in the first step will come and attack and will attach itself to one of the two carbon atoms which are bound by a double bond by breaking that second bond. So if H positive comes and adds itself to this carbon, that is this carbon, then the double bond it breaks, the two electrons they go to uh, add the uh, H positive and therefore this carbon loses that one electron which it was contributing in the sharing of the uh, formation of the pi bond. Therefore this carbon becomes positively charged and resulting in the formation of a carbocation. So this is a primary carbocation which is formed. The other option is that the H positive did not come and attack here. It came and attacked the carbon on the end that is this carbon. 
So if the H positive attacks this carbon and joins this carbon, then the two electrons of the second bond will be used up in attaching that hydrogen, which becomes neutral now, the, H, the positive charge is lost. But since the one electron of this carbon has been used up in the formation of bond with hydrogen on this side, this carbon becomes deficient in electron and therefore the positive charge moves to this carbon. Now since this carbon has the positive charge now, this product that is formed is a secondary carbocation. And a secondary carbocation is always more stable than a primary carbocation. And anything which is more stable will be formed faster too. So the secondary carbocation is formed faster. It is more stable. Therefore, what will happen that what the primary carbocation that will be formed will be very little and um, it will be slower too. So this will not be the dominant product. The final product will not be from this. The final product will be from this. So now in the second step, what happens? The HSO4 negative, that is the negative part of the addendum. That is what the Markovnikov rule says, that the negative part of the addendum adds in an unsymmetrical alkene. When addition takes place, the negative part of the addendum adds to that carbon, which has lesser number of hydrogens. And if you look here, this carbon has only one hydrogen and this carbon has two hydrogens. And the negative part, that is HSO4 negative, when it attaches itself to this, since this is the major product, this will be your main product that will be formed, that is CH3, CHO, SO3, H and CH3. That is the secondary carbocation now will result in the addition of HSO4 negative on the second carbon on, or on the secondary carbon. Therefore, you will get this product as the major product. Right? While this product will also be formed, but it will be very little and it will be kind of negligible. You, the major product is this one. So mainly we would say that this addition took place by Markovnikov addition and this was your main product. And this was your minor product. So this was addition of H2SO4. So let us repeat what happens. That when H2SO4 is added to an alkene, if it is a symmetrical alkene, you will get an ethyl hydrogen sulfide or an alkyl hydrogen sulfide, whatever the alkyl is. But if it is an unsymmetrical alkene, then the addition of H2SO4 would be an electrophilic addition following Markovnikov's rule. And according to that, you will get the, uh, the secondary, like the, the substitution of the negative uh, ion on the secondary carbon would be the primary product. The same thing is seen in the case of addition of water also. If you take a water molecule and you break a water molecule, a water molecule in a little acidic medium, like in the presence of concentrated H2SO4, water would also turn ionic and it will break down into H positive and OH negative. So the H positive would act as the electrophile and the OH negative would be the negative part of the addendum. So addition of water will also follow Markovnikov rule if the alkene is unsymmetrical. If the alkene is symmetrical, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. It will be the same. But if the alkene is unsymmetrical, you will be able to tell the difference between the product, which is the major one and which is the minor one. And you will notice that the major product will indicate to Markovnikov addition. That is, the negative part, that is OH negative of the addendum, adds itself to that carbon which has lesser number of hydrogens. Right? I keep repeating this because repetition will kind of uh, uh, make you uh, memorize the rule very well. Every time when you're mentioning the Markovnikov rule that this addition is by Markovnikov addition or this is an, a Markovnikov addition, I would suggest you always revise the rule. That solidifies the memory of the rule. So let us read this. In the presence of a few drops of concentrated H2SO4, alkenes react with water to form alcohols. Alkenes will react with water to form alcohols. And this will also be in accordance with the Markovnikov rule. So this is the, uh, the unsymmetrical alkene. It has uh, on this side, you have only one carbon of the double bond. And on this side of the carbon uh, of the double bond, you have a carbon which is attached to two other carbons. 
So when water adds on to it, H positive in the presence of an acidic medium like concentrated H2SO4, the H positive and the OH negative will add themselves in what way? You tell me what would be the major product here. The major product out of H positive and OH negative, the negative part of the addendum according to Markovnikov rule should add to which carbon? These are the two carbons that are in consideration. Why? Because the double bond is between these two carbons. So the negative part of the addendum will add to this carbon or this carbon. This carbon is attached to two hydrogens, but this carbon is not attached to any hydrogen. And according to Markovnikov rule, the negative part of the addendum will add to that carbon which has lesser number of hydrogens. So the OH negative will add to this carbon, <coughs> while the H positive will add itself to this carbon. And in the end product, since there is a positive and a negative which are attaching, in the end, the molecule that you get will always be neutral. So, look here, where is the OH negative adding? OH negative is adding to this carbon. And the hydrogen, H positive, added to this carbon. Therefore, it became CH3. So, follow the mechanism again. This is 2-methylpropene. This is the name of this compound. And it results in the formation of 2-methylpropan-2-ol. The mechanism is H2O in the presence of an acidic medium. It breaks down into H positive and OH negative. The electrophile H positive in the first step attacks the alkene. It will result in the formation of two carbocations, one of which will be more stable. Now, the carbocations that are formed, you have the positive charge. If the hydrogen adds to this carbon, then the positive charge comes on the other carbon. But if the hydrogen adds to this carbon, the positive charge comes on the other carbon. So what happens? If this is the positive charge, this is a secondary, uh, this is a tertiary carbocation because it's a carbocation to which um, uh, the positive charge is on a carbon which is attached to three other carbon atoms. And here, the carbocation that is formed is a primary carbocation. And we know that a tertiary carbocation is definitely more stable than a primary carbocation. Therefore, the product that you will get will be, will, uh, this will be the more stable uh, intermediate. And since it is the more stable intermediate, it will be formed faster, it will give the result, uh, it will give the major product, it, more molecules will follow this path than this path. So you will get, in the second step, where the negative part of the addendum adds, you will get two products. One will be where the negative part of the addendum adds to this carbon, where the positive charges, the OH negative will come and add itself here. And the other would be the OH negative comes and adds itself here. So if it adds itself here, you get this product. And if it adds itself here, you get this product, which obviously is the major product because the negative part of the addendum is adding to the tertiary carbocation. And therefore, this is the major product. So these were two more chemical properties. We will continue with our discussion of chemical properties of alkenes in the next video. So uh, please tune in to the next video too. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, recommend it to your friends. And if you wish to watch the other videos of this uh, uh, chapter, please click the link that will appear over the top of your uh, video. And uh, well, thank you for watching and bye-bye for now.